Okay. And, and I mean, this, this again is something that the, the millennials have been uh, plagued with, is that we tend not to keep the same job for, I don't know, six months or something like that. I remember after my first year out of FITS, it was so confusing because all my friends who are working, let's say, at this company are no longer working at that company. That one who was there has now moved around. And it basically is a bit of a game of musical chairs. Would you, and I know this is something that really irritates uh, employers, uh, but what, what would your advice be to, to actories in, in our age group? Is it beneficial to keep hopping as soon as a new bene- uh, opportunity comes up, like always chase a higher salary or a higher position? Or is there some merit in sticking with the company for, for a bit of the long haul? Um, and how do you decide whether you should jump or whether loyalty is going to reward you in the future? So my personal experience from um, job hopping, which I have to admit I've been guilty of as well. I think my longest career was probably just over, my longest stint at one employer was probably around just over four years. That was when I was at Momentum. And there are definite benefits to doing that. Um, Some of the benefits include um, getting even deeper knowledge of, of the industry and the market. If you are going to hop from one employer to the next within, let's say, six months, it's quite likely that you will get quite a superficial view of the business, but you will lose a lot of the depth. Um, But at the same time, I have also worked with actuaries in the past who have stayed at the same employer for, let's say, 20 years. Um, My personal um, temperament, I think I would find it really difficult to do that. Um, unless many different opportunities became available within that company. In other words, it's not the same job for the entire 20 years. And there are some employers that offer that. For example, where I am now at Munich Re, there is quite a bit of job hopping within the organization. So when you decide on your next employer and knowing that the fact that you might not want to settle for very long in the same role, perhaps have a look and see whether the employer that you're considering has those kinds of opportunities to move within the company within a relatively short period of time. On top of that, you should also consider that some companies have a graduate trainee program kind of setup where you are able and even encouraged to, within the program, move from one division or one specific role to the next. So you get exposure to different areas and you don't get bored, of course. Agree, agree. Because I'm going back to the communications, I think that a lot of students that like I currently am actively speaking to like find it very difficult, um, especially when they're going in for an interview, like they get very nervous. And I mean, I just recently went for an interview and I was actually like, even though I'm quite a confident speaker, I was actually quite nervous. And and I don't think that that could be to ourselves enough throughout our degree. So I do think that it would be um, interesting if they did bring in some sort of communications aspect. I mean, I know we have the communications exam, but that's not real life speaking, it's writing everything down. So I think it would be nice to have that sort of aspect brought into our um, degree at an undergraduate level. 